Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm a solutions engineer with Epicor Software. Today, we're going to be talking about costing and the ability to get some great insight in real time into the production process of your manufacturing facility, and more importantly, how this is affecting your production costs. So let's go into a job to find out how some key details are set up in the system that will ultimately drive our costing decisions and outcome. In the tree view on the left hand side, we can see the operational and material details that will be driving the costing framework of this particular job. Here we can see how Epicor gives you the ability to tailor production standards and how you measure them per operation. Epicor gives you a variety of options for how we are going to measure production standards, as well as how and with what level of detail we are going to measure our labor on a job. So where are your machine costs and general overhead going to come from? It's going to come from your production standard, but it's also going to be coming from your scheduling resources. So depending on per operation what resource group or resource you have set up here, this is where this information is going to come from within Epicor itself. Now that we have our job set up, everything's marked as engineer and ready to be released, let's go into Job Tracker, the job that we created in Job Entry just a minute ago, and find out more about Job 2411 now that it has some labor and materials entered against it. So over here on the left hand side, we can see in the tree view that an operation has been completed as well as a material. That's great news in a costing demonstration because that means we can go up here to our job details tab and see the costs for this specific job. So for each individual job that I'm on, I can utilize this job tracker to find out key pieces of information related to the costing and those estimates and over or underages that I have here. But if I wanted a little bit broader view but still find out specifics of whether or not things are going well on the shop floor, that's where I would go out and not use the job tracker necessarily, but go into a specific dashboard that tells me information about cost exceptions themselves. Now, going back to that job 2411 we have here, we see that in terms of the actual, I'm over and I'm over significantly on materials used. Now, this dashboard is a great overall view of multiple jobs, but it's also an easy view because we have a couple differentiators here that tell us information about what's going on. Number one, we have visual indicators here telling us if things are you know, roughly all right, if things are going well or if things are not going well, but we also have individual areas that tell us, well, it's over, thus the red, but we don't necessarily know where in some systems. With an Epicor, we can see it's material specific, labor specific, and if we want to go up to the tabs on the left hand side here, we can see where exactly this is, highlighting either by material, labor, or subcontracting costs where we're grossly over on our estimates. Hopefully today's demonstration highlighted for you Epicor's quick ability to gather real-time costing information as well as how simple it is to tailor the system to gather accurate and timely costing details.